Hi, Dr. Nicola Dellinger here, and um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about an amazing experience that I had yesterday. So I got together with three other girlfriends to do something called swamping. Um, and swamping is borrowed from Regina Thomas Howard's work, better known as Mama Gina. And what she means by swamping is where we take intentional time to touch into those emotions that we tend to push away, um, especially for us ladies, anger is one of them, um, but certainly grief or frustration or pain or hurt, um, any of it is welcome, but it's just really an intentional time to take an hour and we were there a little over an hour because it took us a minute to warm up because we were all kind of timid around this idea of you know, using music and dance and expression and our voice to say what was really true. And so we kind of all, you know, did a little warm up together, kind of get moving. Oh, the most important part is that you have to wear a black trash bag to kind of get you into it. Like I'm in the swamp. I'm really, I'm in, I'm in this. And so we all put on our trash bags and had a little dance party. And then one by one, each of us was called to share more deeply about what's true for us. And it was funny because none of us have ever done this before. And we, you know, kind of showed up and we were happy to see each other and had been in the end of a great weekend for all of us. And um, it was funny to kind of intentionally get into a space of, of discomfort or, you know, unease. Um, and we were all saying, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this, but sure enough, <laughs> each one of us was really able to touch into a deeper truth. And I shared something really um, personal for me around you know, just being tired of feeling like I have this constant pressure on myself that I put on me, but that certainly has been put on me by my upbringing and my, our culture and all that sort of stuff to do things the right way. And I was really angry and really just, um, to, once I was allowed myself to name it, it was pretty amazing what was able to come out as, as I was able to move and throw pillows and um, just and speak my truth with very loud music on. So um, it was um, this really special opportunity to touch into something that was really real. And what was um, even more interesting, honestly, from my perspective was how much witnessing each other um, in sharing our truth really brought up a whole nother layer of emotion, but then also connection um, because it was it is emotional to see someone in their raw truth. And um, my experience driving home with my girlfriend after that was done was, oh my gosh, I went really personal and I shared this really secret part of myself and maybe I went too far and I danced harder than they did and was starting to analyze the whole thing and then I was able to recognize that that's what I was doing and show up for that part of myself that worries if she's good enough or if she just lost <laughs> three friends um, from being too out there. Um, but the reality of it is, is that it actually brought us infinitely closer together and, um, and that we now really uh, honor our friendship in an even deeper way because we were able to share such an authentic experience. So I'm offering this to you today because I wonder how many of us really squish down our full experience because we're supposed to be, you know, the funny one, or we're supposed to be really lighthearted, or when we get together, it's supposed to be fun and light and uplifting, and nobody wants to be the downer or the one to bring up heavy topics. Um, and again, not to say that we always have to be in that space, but, you know, the more we speak our truth, like our real <laughs> hidden, dirty, mucky truth, um, then the more we give permission to everybody else in our world to start sharing on that same level. And then that creates so much more freedom and so much more release. I mean, we all left there buoyant, even though we had been in some really dark places. So it wasn't like, okay, now I'm gonna, you know, cry or be upset for the rest of the afternoon and evening. And even if I was, that would have been okay, but it actually wasn't my experience. And so I think that's a lot of times what can hold us back from really touching into something, you know, some of our deeper truths or some of our um, stickier parts is that if I touch into this at all, I'm going to get overwhelmed and kind of stuck in a quagmire. And um, I'm here to tell you that it was not my experience. And um, 
I, I'm going to make an assumption here, but based on what I saw, not the experience of the other women that I was with. So my invitation to you is go find your swamp. Maybe that's something you want to do just by yourself, but you know, find a song that speaks to you, um, that, that brings up some sort of emotion for you and just let yourself have whatever it is and um, let me know how it goes and uh, what, what you notice happens in your system when you give your um, heart, your mind, and your body permission to move this stuff through so it can release out of ourselves and we can move on um, to, to more creation, more joy, more abundance. So again, my name is Dr. Nicola and um, if you're interested in learning how to maybe, maybe there's this big part of you that's listening and going, no, 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 I can't do that. I can't let anybody see me. Um, that's probably part of the perfectionist or the inner critic and I would love to um, um, offer you this gift um, of a inner critic, understanding your inner critic, this ebook that I wrote, um, but it's free. Please feel free to download it and share it. Um, I've got amazing feedback around how um, just having, starting to have this conversation and start having a different approach to that um, critical voice that we all carry inside of us um, has been really, really uh, liberating. So I uh, can't wait to talk to you soon. Thanks so much for joining today. Be well.